Summer Lake Hot Springs. We had a nice relaxing soak in the in the tub last night after a long day on the trail yesterday. We had some adventures. And uh, we also stopped by a town and got some really good pizza. Oh, she's got our pizza. <laughs> Thank you. Yum. So today we're uh, hoping to make it all the way to the end. It's 145 miles that we got left. And I don't think there's going to be anything terribly difficult. And we agreed that if we saw anything like yesterday with the trees down, we were just going to turn around and take a different way. Uh, rather than waste time trying to make our way through down trees and just do crazy stuff. So that's our plan for today. We're hoping to finish and uh, we'll take you guys along for the ride. <laughs> across our first tree down in the trail and we're gonna check it out kind of like yesterday except for being smarter there's a tree down we could saw it we could do a lot of things there's a sketch line through the woods but we don't want to do any of those things if it's gonna be an all-day affair on this one road We'd rather see more of Oregon. What I'm seeing is the road just kind of peters out into this little campsite here. Um, I don't see a road that way. And if we come on this way, just sort of kind of do a single track. And then about 100 yards that way, it's just all deadfall. So I think we're going to find an alternate reroute on this one. Well, Chris and I have decided that we're going to try and dig the snow, um, at least a, enough of a path for us to get through, because I don't think there's much more, but at least the um, summer, what were they? They were youth summer workers. Youth summer workers said that they're clearing trees, but not snow, and they said there wasn't any other snow than this, so that's our hope anyway. Here we go. Smack your face. Nothing's the side. There's a mosquito. There you go, good job. <laughs> Ooh, it's slippery snow. I wonder if we should be doing it over here where it's smaller. Oh, that's a good point. <sighs> You're so smart. <laughs> this one has an evil branch. Alright, <sighs> yours first? Sure. Okay. This may be end of this route. That's a big drift. So as it turns out, this wasn't the end of the road. This was just the way up to the lookout tower. And so the kids weren't lying to us. Um, that is not the right way. The right way is behind us. Apparently there's a turn we missed. So we're gonna turn around and see if we can find it. And hopefully there's no snow. But the view is worth it. Knock on Chris. <laughs> well, boys and girls, we can't go this way. This is the trail, sadly. There's just too much snow. Still in, it's the middle of July. There's four feet of snow. So we gotta find another way around. Okay. You ready? Yep. So, we are like six miles from the end of the Oregon BDR, and of course, Chris, is Chris pulls up. I, ca I stop here to tell her, hey, we're at the border between Oregon and California. So now you guys are knowing, we just, this is the border right there where that sign is, Fremont, Wemina, whatever. <laughs> That's the border between the states. And I hear, and guess what? Chris's rear tire is flat. Why 
why we practice our tire changes at home, right? And that is how you do a field tube replacement. If you'd like to learn how to do a tire change on your own, I've got a full video on that. Check the link right above here. We did it! 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 We did it. We did it. This is it! This is the end! Oh my god! We finished the Archimedia! Let's go get some steak. <laughs> <laughs>